The other day I was editing a YouTube video when a notification popped up and that notification was an email setting me a challenge. And that challenge is to spend 24 hours at the international showground Hickstead and I'm going to be taking Joey with me. So before today's video starts, I just thought I'd let you guys know that I'm actually going to be at Hickstead doing two different meetups. One on Friday the 29th of July and that's going to be on the day where it is the FEI Longines Jumping Nations Cup. And I'm also going to be there on the Sunday which is the 31st of July with Mickey for a meetup. Both meetups are at 11am so hopefully I'll see you guys there. But first, we need to get everything ready for this 24 hour challenge because that is a lot of time with Joey. I'm also going to be camping out, so that is a lot of stuff that I need to pack. So I thought I'd do a quick run through of everything that I'm packing. But if you haven't seen my new horse box reveal video, I'll leave a little eye card above because this video will kind of spoil what it looks like. So if you want a full on tour of everything inside out, that will be that video. But anyway, this is my little tack locker area. I've brought a spare head collar for Joey. I also have my bridle and breastplate. We have his jumping saddle because I think we're going to be doing some jumping today. I've brought a, um, a mountain of saddle pads because just in case I've got Joey's jumping boots. We also have some haylage because Joey's going to be staying overnight and some water so he's got a little snack here. I've got some haylage nets. Also behind I have my shavings fork, I have a brush and I also have a bucket for mucking out because obviously Joey's going to be going in a stable. And then if we go around to the back we have the living area and I've got to say it doesn't look like I've packed much because there is so much storage in here. Obviously I have my overnight bag it's got like my pajamas spare pair of clothes um, I've brought quite a huge selection of spare pair of clothes because I'm that person I have my iPad so I can watch some Netflix or over this evening um, I also have a book in there as well so I can read um, we have a lot of stuff up here so in here we have cleaning stuff more cleaning stuff because never have too much cleaning stuff. Um, in here we have all of the food and snacks so obviously we're gonna have to have our dinner here, our breakfast because it is a 24-hour challenge. In here we have my hat bags because um, I've brought two different hats or helmets because I've got one that I'm gonna be using for like jumping with, I've got one that I can use a GoPro with or helmet cam. Um, above here we have all of the camera gear Actually, I can't believe we managed to store it in here. The storage is so big um, because before the old horse box didn't really have anywhere to put the storage. We have the sink, so we've got all of our washing up stuff. We've got the little fridge. In here is probably the most exciting cupboard because this has quite a lot of my riding stuff. So if we open it up, we have my grooming bag that has all of my things in. We've even got some sun cream because it's supposed to be quite sunny today. Um, I have my boots in my boot bag. I have a whole wash bucket because knowing Joey, he will get pretty dirty and then just in case we do any sort of cross country or whatever and my body protector because you know it's a challenge I don't really know what we're doing while we're there but that is pretty much everything that we have in the van we also have bedding underneath there as well because I'm gonna turn this into my bed but the next thing I need to do is get Joey ready get him groomed and then it's time to go if I'm honest I don't know what I'm doing just wandering the ruins looking for a place to start If I'm honest, I don't know who I am All I see is a man who's waiting for a wake-up call Alright everyone, we are now here at Hickstead, so as soon as we go through those gates, it's time to start the clock. Alright guys, we are driving through now, so our 24 hours has now started. We've got Joey in the back, we just need to find out where we're going now. Alright, this is us. We are now here and it's time to go and get Joey out and put him in his stable. Hi Joey. Good boy. Yeah, this looks nice. Number 16. In you come Joey. 
So Joey is now settling in to his stable for the next 24 hours and just as we've arrived I have got a text and it says welcome to Hickstead Esme, um, I hope you enjoy your stay for the next 24 hours. Um, once you're settled in get Joey tacked up and go down to the international warm-up arena where you'll be meted by one of the Nations Cup team members for Team Ireland and um, the rest of your challenge awaits there. So it's time to get Joey settled in, get our tack and get moving. All right, everybody, Joey has been settling in. He's very happy in a stable with his haylage. He's, I can also kind of see him from where I'm sitting now. So that's really good so I can keep an eye on him. Uh, we're now in sort of daytime mode in the back of the horse box here. So we've got the table out. So later on, we're having our dinner. It's all ready for that. Just having some water so I can stay hydrated because it is very, it's quite a warm, sunny day today. Um, I've also made up some haylage nets. So Joey's got all of his dinner ready for tonight um, I've also brought his treat ball with him so if he does get a little bit lonely he's got that to keep him company because with horses you know if they've got food they tend to be happy but yeah now it's just time to go and get Joey tacked up get him ready and then I'll see you guys when it's time for whatever activity we're doing this afternoon Joey now has his boots on, his breastplate and his saddle. All I need to do is put his bridle on, but before that, I'm gonna get myself ready. So I'm gonna go and grab my helmet and my boots myself. Good man. He is just so chilled. I thought he would be a little more on edge because there are no other horses around. You know, it's a bit of a windy day and it's a new place. He's just happy. I mean, he's got food. He's a happy boy. Hopefully you're very good for our activity this afternoon. Get on. Good boy, Joey. Brave boy over the bridge. Yeah, well done. So Trevor, thank you so much for giving me and Joey a lesson today. We're currently in the international warm-up arena that I believe you have ridden in quite a few times before. What does it feel like when you're warming up? Do you ever feel nervous before going into the Longines International Arena? Uh, yeah, the, the, the warm-up here in Hickstead is fantastic. Um, it's, it's really close to the main arena, which is nice. You don't have such a long walk after your warm-up, you know, where the horse can switch off or whatever. So I like that about it. Um, as regards getting nervous, um, the big classes like a Nations Cup, I certainly do. Yeah. Uh, because there's not, it's, you're not just riding as an individual in a Grand Prix, there's your whole teammates and your country depending on you as well. So I get, I wouldn't call it nervous, but it's a, I suppose a nervous energy is A more. bit of pressure and excitement. Exactly. And I, I, I like to think anyway, that that brings out the better in, in me. I think I concentrate, focus more even and uh, I like to think it, I, I do a better job in that. Well you certainly moment. had quite a successful year, tell me a bit more about that. Yeah, a great year so far, thank you Esme. Uh, <laughs> we started in uh, Dubai, uh, the start of the year it was great, we had Nations Cup there and we won that um, and then uh, I had won a Grand Prix or two there as well and then um, we just went on from there to Arezzo in Italy, I was second in the Grand Prix there. I've done a couple, few Nations Cups, Sopat, part of the Super League. Uh, we were fourth there, but um, my horse jumped great. And then we were, went to Prague on Germain Nations Cup, and then Rotterdam, again Super League. Uh, and again, we were third there. Um, so we've had a great year. And, uh, you know, going good, but you know, you always want more and you always want better. Yeah, well, best of luck for the Nations Cup next weekend. So anyway, what is the plan for our lesson today? So our lesson today, I think I'm just going to let you and Joey have a <laughs> feel of the warm up in the main arena. Obviously, it's a lot less crowded than it will yeah. be next week. There'll be a lot more things going yeah, on. Yes, so he's already had a good look at all of the sponsored banners on the side yeah, and exactly. the flags waving around. It's a bit different to our arena at home. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes I think horses in this environment can be more spooky than mm. when it's actually at the show. Yeah, because there's because, less horses around. It's yeah, just them on their and, own. And there's loads of stuff and nothing in them and they're nearly more frightening when there's nothing in them. So it's uh, it'll be it's it's just a different environment. But uh, 
I think what we're going to do today, we're just going to set up a nice little grid, uh, just because, you know, if he gets distracted or anything like that. Uh, so we're just going to start with canter pole to a cross pole and then uh, two strides to the infamous Hickstead planks. Yeah. Which, uh, <laughs> I hope won't cause me any problems in the next oh. <laughs> So don't overshoot your turn. Keep your leg on, get a nice ride at this pole. Leg, there you go, super. Excellent. That's really good though. Thank you. He didn't, um, he didn't even look at these planks, did he? No. I was just worried the first time he might. Yeah, you know, no, that's fair enough. Super. Now just wait for that distance at the pole. Excellent, now just close your leg. Just close your leg. Super. Well done. Go off to the left this time. Didn't quite enjoy it. Just sit up. Super. Good. That's it. Well done. Excellent. He's enjoying it now. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that was great. Thank you so much, Trevor, for Joey and I's lesson today. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with him. He was really good. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Esme. You're a pleasure to teach. And uh, like I keep telling you, you and Joey are a great partnership and uh, you both have so much talent and ability that you just need to keep doing it. And yeah. look at the size of this plank you just jumped. <laughs> so yeah, bravo. Oh, thank you very much. No well, problem. good boy. I think he deserves lots of treats when we get back to the stables. Absolutely. Hey? Well done. And we've had mowers going on, flags, other horses walking around. Plenty of distractions. Yes, lots sure. of distractions. Yeah. Well done. There we go. It's just a little stream now. Drinkies. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Would you like some snackies for being such a good boy? Yeah? Okay then. Good boy. Is that yummy? Oh, you're gonna know that this is where the snack's kept now, aren't you? Yeah? Would you like a second one? Oh no, I dropped them all. Okay, that's fine, you're going for the grass. They've all fallen out. Okay, let's pop that back. I'm trying to do too many things at once. I'm trying to occupy a baby horse. Yes, there we go. Good boy, okay, let's pop you back in your stable with some haylage then, mister. There you go. Afternoon snack. All right, everybody, Joey is in his stable with a haylage net after being washed off, and he is very happy and chilled. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of tack cleaning so we have some nice clean tack for tomorrow. Well, I'm actually cleaning my boots at the moment, but I've got my little wash bucket here. I've got all of my tack cleaning things. I've got my deck chair out, my camping chair, you know. This is really nice. I mean, it's nice because it's sunny. If it was raining, it probably wouldn't be as fun but you know what we're having a great time and um hopefully tomorrow i think the plan is to maybe go on like a little bit of a hack a little bit of a ride around a bit of an explore and let joey see a little bit more of hickstead but um yeah looking forward to it we've got dinner to make this evening as well and need to make up my bed so lots of exciting sort of camping activities uh, but yeah i will see you guys once my tack is clean now I've finished cleaning my tack I've had a shower I've gotten out of there we go I don't know if you can hear that but Joey every now and again when a horse walks past it's the most adorable thing he'll start neighing to it and be like hi can you be my friend please I'm now all clean in some clean clothes and um, I've now transformed the back of the horse box into the This Esme offices. I'm actually just doing some editing now because another challenge I have is that I'm filming this currently on Wednesday and this video is going to be Friday's video. So I thought I'd start by doing some editing now so I have less to do tomorrow and hopefully I can get the video up on time. But anyway, I'll see you guys a little bit later when it will probably be time to give maybe Joey a hand graze and also have some dinner. You want some rubs? What are you looking at? Oh, you look huge. There we go, have some grass. I 
I'm now back from giving Joey his hand graze and it's time to make dinner so we've got a little special this is me kitchen van life sort of episode here uh, we're making pesto pasta nice and easy because um, we're in a van not a whole kitchen you know don't have a full-on oven but you know the gas cooker's working pretty well the pasta is boiling and I'm hungry so I will see you guys when it's dinner time I'm currently just having my dinner now and then once I've had this I think it might be time to go for a little bit of an explore before it gets too dark noise <laughs> Joey's watching me so cute poking his little head out the stable door listening to all the sounds all the things it's now very quiet here at Hickstead. Everyone's gone home. The sun is going to set soon, but you know, we're staying here. I'm not going to be like other YouTubers that maybe will either go home or stay in a hotel. No, no, no. We're properly camping here and it's actually been a really good experience so far for Joey to do sort of like a fake stay away show as well. But anyway, while I was hand grazing Joey earlier, I found something very exciting. And that is a John Deere Gator. Now earlier on, all of the grounds people have been whizzing around on these, getting everywhere ready, looking spick and span, ready for the show. But it's now quite late. So late that we're technically locked in, like all the gates are shut, nobody is around, the showground is empty, and the keys are still in it. So it'd be rude not to. A view with the sun about to set as well the sprinkler going off watering everything this doesn't feel real <laughs> this is stunning and I've got to zoom around on this what more could you want for a Wednesday evening all right come with me guys we are really going behind the scenes here got a good little viewpoint it feels really weird to be here with nobody around and also it being the evening as well I'm so used to it being you know daytime busy everyone's about it's very strange <laughs> what a beautiful place to sit and watch the sunset this evening I've got to say every time I come up here I always forget what a brilliant view you have you know I can see the whole arena and to sit in these seats you don't have to pay anything extra as well so it it's huge you know I, I better go soon because I think the sprinkler is gonna come back around and start spraying me but it it is just absolutely breathtaking up there and it's just so big huge all right Joey I've got your big dinner you don't normally have much of a dinner no but I've got your nice big one to keep you happy there we go oh well done for going back good man i've also given him a bucket of water because he does have an automatic water drinker however i don't know i think he knows how to use it because i did show it to him and splash it and he put his nose in it but knowing joey he's the sort of horse that'll probably forget that that's even water so i've got him a bucket of water just in case because that's what he normally has he seems very happy with his dinner so i'll say good night joey mm -hmm. big hug all right everyone i am now an esme burrito i'm ready for bed i have my strawberry pajamas on i'm all snuggled up and i will see you guys in the morning I'm just having a little bedtime wee in the sort of toilets here and I can't find the light so it's dark and I've just been watching Stranger Things so I can't lie, it's a little bit creepy here. <laughs> bedtime wee is complete, back to my sleeping bag. <laughs>
everyone. It is 6 a.m. Uh, I woke up a little bit earlier this morning because Joey here was so noisy. He started neighing and I don't know if he was calling for my horses or if he wanted his breakfast earlier, but um, had to move him out of the way because I'm worried he's going to wake up Team Brazil that are parked next to us. But he does seem very happy now he's got some grass. But um, anyway, soon I'll need to take him back, give him his bucket dinner and also get his stable mucked out. Man. I need to have some breakfast myself as well. I'm not quite awake yet. <clears throat> Alright everyone, it's a little bit later now. I've had my breakfast. Joey's had his and he's just currently having a haylage net tied outside to keep him nice and happy. There's actually been quite a lot of things going on. There's been horses riding past this morning. There's been the sort of groundskeepers with goodness knows what, cutting things down, leaf blowers. So Joey's had a lot to keep him distracted and look at. He's a lot happier now we're here with him as well. So I'm just giving him a little bit of a groom and then I'll tack him up and get ready for our morning ride. So here we have the arch into the Longines International Arena. Some very special horses get to go through here. Yeah, look at that. How cool. So all the Nations Cup team members will be going through here. You're very lucky to be standing here right now, Joey. All right, Joey, I reckon we do a little bit of shopping, hey? This is a little bit different to our normal hacking, isn't it? Look at all these stands. Yeah, look, it's a lot to take in. To be fair, I thought he would be a lot more spooky with all these sort of white, flappy... Actually, they're not really flapping, but... I don't know, it just seems a bit a bit different to normal. Oh, is that scary and flappy? Scary and flappy. Give it a good stare down. What do you reckon, Joey? Should we get some pancakes? Should we, oh, I don't think they're open, unfortunately. If not, some pancakes would be great. Have we got all nosy inside? <laughs> Can you see your reflection? <gasps> some tractors going on over there. Well done. Good boy! Well done! Oh, look at all these tractors, Joey! Look at them! Lot to take in. Oh, there's some doggies! There's the bank, Joey! <coughs> Is that what you think to the bank, noisy boy? Or are you just calling out for the other horse? I think you're probably calling out for the other horse. Look at the international arena, Joey. How pretty. Maybe one day you'll ride in there. Oh, that is a very scary <laughs> drain. Very scary. Mm -hmm. All right, Joey, now we're on the sandy track. Should we go for a little tea? A little T-R-O-T? -T? Yeah? Okay, let's go trotting. <laughs> oh, yeah. The magic word. You know it, boy. Is this fun? Oh, and with all in arms I'll carry yours Come Rain or shine I'll cover you up and calm the skies As long as you Oh my goodness, Joey and I both had so much fun on our hack. It was also really nice to just go around on our own, have a little explore, a lot of atmosphere to take in obviously with all the banners and flags and tents and 
stands and shopping area but he was also really good when we went to the sort of cross country area where they had the water he went in the water first time had a lot of fun splashing through and cantering through but anyway we are now back I have just untacked him and the last thing I need to do before our 24 hours is up is muck out the stable and make sure that's nice and clean before we leave I found someone who makes me want to know a thing about love But oh my god, I'm seeing stars with you Tend to keep myself from diving in I got fed up with the sink or swim But oh my god, I'm falling hard for you I keep on waiting for the hurricane to come and watch the magic that you brought away Alright everybody, <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've literally just got absolutely drenched by your slobber mister. Did you want to give me a kiss? All right, everybody, we are now, we've now finished our 24 hours here at Hickstead. Joey has been such a good boy for his first ever sleepover. First ever time sleeping away from home, so that's been a big step. Lots of spooky things we've looked at as well. There's been a lot of atmosphere, but he has honestly been incredible and we've had so much fun. So before the challenge ends, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Hickstead for very kindly having us. If you'd like to find out more information about the show, I will leave some links in the description below and I can't wait to see you guys there. But anyway, it's time to take him back, load him up, and then I think he'll be very happy to see Mickey, Casper, and Duke. Hey, we will go home and see your friends. All right, bye bye. Excited. All right, guys, let's have a little check of the timer. Okay, we've got five, four, three, two, one. The 24 hours is now up. We're out of here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.